Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 52 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. We look at these circuits. We make the switch S is closed. Mm -hmm. Then ask you what is time constant for the changing capacitor after 24 volts is applied. It looks like we need to find constant time, right? Constant time, we can see the tau equal to equivalent resistance times equivalent capacitance, right? So it looks like we need to find equivalent resistance and capacitance. How can we do that? We can consider Kirchhoff's loop rules, right? First, we look at this point C. At point C, the corner is conserved, so I equal to I1 plus I3. At corner D, the I equal to I2 plus I4, right? Yes, and then we first draw the loop as this one, right? So y, 24 volts, just uh, go through the capacitor C1, voltage decreases as Q1 divided by C1, then the current goes through the C2 as the voltage decreases as Q2 divided by C2, this one, right? And then we look at this part, we can see we can draw a loop look like this one, right? As you can see, the current goes through the R3, voltage decreases, so minus I3 times R3, and then plus the voltage goes through capacitor Q1 divided by C1, right? The, this part, we can draw it, look like this one, the second Kirchhoff's loop, as the minus I4 times R4, plus the Q2 divided by C2 equal to zero. So now you can see we get these five equations, right? We can solve it. So how can we solve it? Mm -hmm. There. Um, because we need to move this charge more close to current. So the relationship between the charge to the current is the current is a, is a, is a, the current is the charge D, D, dq with dt, right? So it looks like we need to do the derivation for t for this uh, side, for this function, right? So this one is the first term d so divided by dt, and then dq1 divided by dt, dq2 divided by dt. As we consider the y is not changed with time, so this term is zero, and the dq1 with dt is i1, dq2 with dt is i2. Now we can solve it, get the I2 equal to negative I1 times C2 over C1, right? Yes. Now you can see we look at this function. It can be I1 plus I3 equal to I2 plus I4, right? So I1 is there. I3 can be replaced at there. It's Q1 divided by C1 times R3. I2 is this term. And I4 is Q2 divided by C2 times R4, this one. Agree? Yes. The next one, we need to find the Q2 over C2. So Q2 over C2, how can we do that? Q2 over C2 is V2, right? And this V2 can be write as a epsilon divided by V1, right? Epsilon divided, or epsilon minus V1. So epsilon minus V1, V1 can be write as Q1 divided by C1, right? So now we can Reorganize this equation. We get the equation look like this one. So we get equivalent resistance there, equivalent capacitance there, and then the constant time tau is R times C. So we reorganize it. It looks like this one. Input all the given quantities. You get answer there. Thank you.